This is Sean Anderson. One day, he receives a radio message from somewhere, and tries to crack the code with his stepfather. Together, they manage to figure out that the island is real. They also figure out the coordinates using the message and immediately leave for Pacific Ocean to discover the mysterious island. They hire a tourist helicopter and move towards the location, but witness the biggest group of tornadoes anyone has ever seen. Their helicopter gets engulfed by the tornado and they wake up on a barren island. Sean finds a cave and tells everyone to come with him. As they reach the end of the cave, they are shocked to see the mysterious island. On this island, large animals are small, and small animals are large. Sean meets his grandfather there who is stuck here for more than two years. He is the one who sent the radio message to Sean. Now, Sean's grandfather shows everyone the lost city of Atlantis, which is a part of this mysterious island. There, they discover that this island will sink completely in next two days, so they need to figure out a way to escape. Sean suggests that they can use Captain Nemo's submarine, Nautilus, to escape safely from below the tornadoes. They visit Captain Nemo's tomb and find that the Nautilus is parked on the other side of the island. They begin their journey and reach the coast, but Nautilus if nowhere to be found. 